Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to cover how to switch users inside Symfony. So this isn't specific to Foz User Bundle but it is pretty useful all the same. And the idea is that say we're logged in as an admin and a user has reported something to us that's problematic which we can't re easily reproduce on our own account nor can we do it with a test account. The idea is that you can just sort of switch to them without having to know their password by passing in some stuff to the URL uh, and then we'll be able to switch. So the idea would be something like when logged in, you would do switch user and then the user's name. And if we look in our database, I have a user called Tom. Uh, this isn't going to work, not least because the server is not running. Let's just start that. So at console server run, um, I'm not logged in either. So let's just log in. Uh, first and let's just see why this won't work so code review test this logs us in let's get rid of that never for this site and we can see this this user isn't actually an admin or anything it's just a role user so this isn't going to work but let's just give it a shot anyway so we'll say switch user and then pass in the user's name which is just tom and not a lot happens um which is fine i suppose it's just not really um Symphony is sort of not allowing that to happen, but it's not really blowing up either. So before this can actually work, we need to go in and go to our config into our security and we need to add in an option to our firewall. Now this is per firewall, so just be aware that if you've got multiple firewalls, uh, you will need to enable this per firewall depending on what you're trying to achieve. Um, you might not want to be able to switch user on every firewall, depends on your application. So we've got switch user equals true, and now again if we try this time we're getting access denied, which is an improvement in a way. Um, it's because we don't actually have the role that's allowing us to do this. So let's go ahead and give us the give the code review user the role to be able to do that. So let's just use app console foz and then just hit return just to be able to see all the things that we've got. So foz user promote. And then if you don't provide a username or whatever, it's going to go into interactive mode, but we'll just do it this way for now. Uh, and the, the default role is role allowed allowed to switch now we can change this i will show you how in a sec so we should have that role now if we refresh our database uh, we can see that we've got role allowed to switch and then again if we fire up the console uh, not the console sorry fire up the server uh, this time let's give it a shot so allowed to switch uh, let's just give it a shot uh, we're going to need to log out and log back in we're not going to have got that role log out and log in Let's just try again. So test and in we go. Uh, switch user to Tom. And this time you can see we've switched over to logged in as Tom. And we can see we're actually, we've got the role of, uh, we've got the user of Tom, but we have this role previous admin. And this is what's going to allow us to switch back as well. So let's just go and switch back just through the URL. Switch user underscore exit the exit. Oh, sorry underscore exit the underscore is important i guess that's in case you have a user that's uh, called themselves exit so as you can see at the top here i've got a tab open with uh, a google uh, search for symphony security config reference and in here we've got like well it's basically the security config reference exactly what it says on the tin uh, if we scroll down a little bit in here we should be able to find the uh, the switch user set setup here we are. So switch underscore user, and then we can provide a custom user provider that's well outside the scope of what I'm trying to do here. Um, but the two options that you might want to change is the, the parameter that we would pass into the URL and also the role that you need to be able to switch. I'm going to leave those as is, and I'm also then just going to do a search for Symphony impersonating impersonate user. And the reason I'm doing this is just to show you, firstly, there is a cookbook article that demonstrates this, but secondly, there's a nice easy little bit of twig config that I can steal uh, and then paste into my top nav. So uh, in here, it's outside the is authenticated, remember, because it's set up um, already with its own permissions check. And I'm just going to pop this in li. Uh, let's just tidy this up a touch. So what this should do is when we're logged in, but only when we're logged in and we switch to user. So notice when we've been given that previous admin, we should get the option to, to switch back. So let's just go here, uh, try again. So we're logged in as code review. We're going to go ahead and switch user to Tom. Not that flipping it, Chris, flipping it. 
switch user to Tom. What's going on? Why is it just losing all, all my thing? Uh, so we switched to Tom and you can see we've got the exit impersonation link and we can just click that and exit. Pretty cool, pretty useful. Hopefully that's been useful to you.